constantly serving other people and neglecting yourself is probably the best way to get exhausted, burned out, drained, and to become disengaged from work, and oftentimes even disengaged in your personal life. And this happens because when you're usually busy serving others, the first thing to go is your ability to serve yourself. If you're watching this and you're a parent, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When you spend so much time serving your kids, sometimes you just get drained and you're like, ah, I just want a minute for myself. I just want to do something for myself. I just want time for myself. So even though you are serving your leaders, even though you're serving your customers, even though you're serving your team members and your peers, you also need to make sure that you serve yourself. Because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to serve anybody else effectively. Serving yourself starts with self-awareness. Now again, we did an entire video on this, so I encourage you to go to that video and watch the self-awareness video. And this means understanding your strengths, understanding your weaknesses, understanding what zaps your energy, what burns you out, and understanding what makes you excited, what makes you motivated, what makes you driven. It's really trying to understand and create that environment for yourself that will allow you to be more successful. But if you don't understand what these things are, then it's very hard to go about actually serving yourself. For example, in my situation, I know that I can't deliver good speeches when I speak at conferences or for companies unless I exercise and eat healthy. So in order for me to serve the company that has hired me, I make sure to prioritize exercising, getting a good night's sleep, and eating healthy food. I service myself so that I can service others. There's a reason why so many organizations around the world are moving away from just becoming organizations to becoming financial advisors, to becoming cafeterias, to becoming gyms. There's a reason why so many organizations around the world are creating these new types of health and wellness programs because they want to encourage employees to better serve themselves. And they understand that if employees can serve themselves, then they will do a better job servicing customers, servicing their peers, and serving their leaders. Unilever has a well-being zone with different areas for yoga and health and meditation, resting, and even healthy snacks. Marriott has programs like this. Cisco, Microsoft, all these organizations have these types of health and wellness programs in place. In fact, this is very much becoming the standard that a lot of organizations around the world are implementing across the board. Make sure you take time on a regular basis to take advantage of any of these health and wellness programs if your company offers them. If not, then you might need to do some of these things on your own time. Make sure that you gotta do whatever you gotta do to be healthy and happy, whether it's exercising, whether it's making sure you get a full night of rest, whether it's eating healthy food, whether it's maybe getting a massage once a month, whether it is having a hobby that you're excited to do every week, which for me is racquetball or it's chess. I mean, I love those things and they help make me happier and more engaged so that I can better serve others around me. But again, you really need to have that level of self-awareness to understand what these things are so that you can actually do them and practice them on a regular basis. Anytime you get on an airplane, you're always told, put on your own oxygen mask first before helping those around you. The same is true here. You have to put on that mask yourself before you can go around serving others. So really take time and think about what you need to do to serve yourself Think about what makes you more engaged and happy and productive and actually take steps and write down what you can do on either a daily basis or a weekly basis to help make sure that you are serving yourself. And it doesn't need to be something big and expensive and luxurious. You don't need to go spend $500 on a massage at some fancy resort although you can, but that's not necessarily what we're talking about. It could just be setting aside 45 minutes or an hour to read a book. It could be watching your favorite show on TV. Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you have that time for yourself to re-energize and relax. I can tell you that one of the things that my wife and I try to do on a regular basis is take quarterly getaways. Now we both work for ourselves, which is extremely stressful because you constantly feel like you should be working. You constantly feel like you should be plugged in or doing something, doing a podcast, doing a video like this, writing something, getting something out there. 
So my wife and I, every quarter, we try to get away for two, three nights and just hang out, relax, go somewhere, recharge our batteries, do something to serve ourselves so that when we get back to work, we can do a very effective job of serving others. This week, as soon as you're done watching this video even, I want you to really think of three things that you can do on a regular basis to better serve yourself. And I promise you, not only will you be happier, but so will those around you at work and at home. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out futureofworkpodcast.com for more content. And do me a favor, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you.